So here you go. This is three to four hundred available parking spots. Uh, school starts tomorrow, so this is what you would call a very busy day. Now, granted, it's pretty early in the morning out here on Johnson Beach. This is the Gulf Islands National Seashore, about as nice and beautiful an asset as you will find anywhere. Um, you've got pavilions, you've got clean bathrooms, you've got an enormous amount of parking, you've got trash pickup, uh, you've got security and safety, you've got lifeguards. You know, I mean, you've got your handicapped accessible parking spots. Um, you know, all, everything here, of course, is ADA compliant because this is the federal government uh, providing you a service. You know, so much discussion about how much uh, access we don't have. And yet, it seems like all that discussion is on Facebook. If you want access to the beach, close your laptop, get off Facebook, and come on down here to the beach. Because, quite frankly, <laughs> there's plenty of space for you out here on Perdido Key. Now I'm at uh, Beach Access 2, um, another, I don't know, probably 14 to 18 parking spots here, an enormous amount of sugar white sands that are uh, easily accessible. Uh, the lot uh, next to Beach Access 2 is currently vacant right now, and now see that would be an ideal parcel that the county should uh, want to acquire, because we could just expand the existing amenities without having to build more, and look right here, dead center of the commercial sector of Perdido Key. That's what smart development looks like, folks, and that is exactly what the people decided they wanted when they created the Perdido Key Master Plan. So we're going to continue to push, push forward with the Perdido Key Master Plan uh, in spite of the uh, political machinations of, uh, of you know, well, actually of Gene Valentino's people, who are now Alan McMillan's people. So we'll just have to uh, keep going and, uh, and keep plowing through. But, you know, when people tell you that Perdido Key is only for the rich or Perdido Key, this, that, or the other, or the people on Perdido Key are, are snobs, I'm going to tell you straight away, that is an absolute lie. It is just not true. Uh, Perdido Key is open for business. Perdido Key is open for pleasure. Uh, we got great businesses out here. We've got great uh, restaurants out here. But most importantly, we've got great people out here who are Escambia citizens just like you. So I'm at Beach Access 3 now. It is Sunday the 12th. It's the last day of summer, so really busy uh, busy beach day. Um, of course, still plenty of parking here. But this here I want to talk about a little bit about uh, the idea of free beach access. Okay, Y'all see all this water running? Standing water here? Guys, it did not rain last night. But you know what did happen is Beach Access 3 got vandalized yet again. So somebody, I don't know what they, I mean, what, I don't know what kind of hooliganism we had going on, but, you know, they broke the pipe off that makes the shower you know, foot and foot wash work. So when you ask yourself, why can't we have nice things, that's it. So I'm curious, for those who think that beach access ought to be free, who's supposed to fix that? Okay, because I just put in a trouble ticket on uh, Sunday morning, so somebody, some staff member is going to have to put in overtime to fix that. Uh, because we can't certainly just can't let it keep running like it has been. I mean, we're already wasting you know thousands of gallons of water. Okay? Nothing in government is free. We have to remember that the government cannot give you something for free unless they took it out of somebody else's pocket. So, yeah, we've got it pretty well cleaned up because I'm out here every weekend and have the staff come out every Monday, and we do a pretty big cleanup. But when you think about how you want beach access for free, my question to you is, will you be out here on Monday morning with us cleaning up for free? I suspect that your time is more valuable than that. And you know what? So is everybody else's. All right, we are at Perdido Key East Park. This is the state park. Uh-oh, we've got purple flags flying. It means marine, uh, marine mammals or marine animal life that's dangerous, maybe jellyfish. Uh, somebody comes out here, by the way, and puts those up. And this person is uh, paid for their time, of course. Uh, the maintenance of this thing is all paid for by somebody, taxpayers, quite frankly, because uh, this is one of uh, Florida's phenomenal state parks. This is the real Florida, folks. And what you see out here, and it's Sunday, it's the uh, it's still early, it's about 9 o'clock, um, but it is the last day before school starts, and uh, what we have here is 48 parking spots. It costs $3 to park here all day long. Um, we got four cars here, so there's still 44 parking spots here, folks. Plenty of parking on Perdido Key for the public. And if $3 is too much, 
to pay for all of this? $3 for a day? Honestly, folks, I can't imagine where else you would get more for your money than to spend $3, close up your laptop, get off of Facebook, and come down to Perdido Key and enjoy the life that we've all been blessed with. We are on uh, Perdido Key State Access, West Access. Again, $3 to park. $3 gets you clean flushing bathrooms, not porta potties. So you don't have to be trailer park trashing it to come out and enjoy this. Uh, this is the real Florida, folks. This is what it looked like before we started screwing it up with building big towers on top of it. And you get all of this for $3 a day. Um, we have 49 parking spots here at the Beach Access uh, to include handicap parking. Uh, and it's only $2 a day if you come by bike or, uh, or by foot. So, you know, that walkable, bikeable Perdido Key, the state park is a big part of that. 49 parking spots, 48, something like that, including uh, three bus parking spots down there on the end. Uh, handicap access, you are right in the middle of a state park, which means beauty all around you. Um, so that uh, I can't do anything about how, uh, how loud your kids may be, but chances are you can find a place on this beautiful beach uh, that you're far away from other people's kids. So, uh, you know, again, I don't understand. Uh, well, actually, I do understand. It's all politically motivated to tell us that there's a crisis that we should spend your money on. It kind of sounds like that Saul Alinsky stuff, doesn't it? There is no crisis of parking on Perdido Key as of today. We need to be investing in the future to ensure that future generations can also say there is no crisis of parking on Perdido Key, and no matter who you are or where you're from, as long as you're not somebody who's uh, out to do uh, ill will toward others, there's a place on Perdido Key for you. All right, we're going to finish up right here at the Floribama, and this is one aspect of uh, beach access I think that people seem to forget. You know, the government doesn't have to provide everything for you. In fact, the private sector provides uh, phenomenal uh, beach access and water access. Uh, we got the outdoor bandstand behind us where you know nobody's going to charge you uh, to come most of the time anyway unless it's a really big name but for the most part you hear some really awesome music played out here. Um, you, you got the blue chair bar um, where you can you know you, now granted you do have to pay for a drink I don't think they give them away um, but you know I always I'm always careful about anybody who says they got something for free. That's all water access. Now we're on the uh, old river side right now, uh, quite frankly, just because there was shade over here is why I came over here. Um, you know, but the private sector, Crab Trap, uh, Floribama, uh, Oyster Bar, they also provide uh, access. Now, again, nothing's free, folks. Uh, so you do want to stop in and, you know, when you come and use their accesses, uh, you know, get a drink, get some, uh, I don't know, firecracker shrimp or something like that. Uh, the firecracker calamari is phenomenal. Um, you know, but there's, uh, there's plenty of access to the water here on Perdido Key. There's plenty of access to the beach side and the sound side. Some of it free, some of it you pay for, some of it government sector, some of it private sector. That sounds like the definition of a really robust uh, economy and a robust access to the water. So, you know, it'll be interesting to see where the rest of this dialogue goes because it's political season, which I don't know, some of the most, uh, rep uh, most uh, strong Republicans turned into uh, and a handout to politicians uh, during election season. So I'm sure that we'll continue to uh, ramble through this discussion. But the reality is, out here on Perdido Key, there is something for everybody to gain access to the water, um, whether it be the beach, the sound side, private sector, public sector. Come on out and enjoy Perdido.